Hello, so in this tutorial we're gonna take a look to how to get these kind of bubbles here, especially that curved here. So let's uh, simply show you that. I'm gonna move that object to the side. Okay, so starting with a cylinder here, I'm gonna be giving that 98 sides. Let's go on G and Z on the axis. Now we're gonna get that kind of curve here by adjusting the uh, proxies. So I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna tap to edit mode and uh, control R here. Let's make that on oh, that point here should be enough. I'm going to be going to works mode. I'll go ahead and make my cut pass through that area here. So move that cut up here with G and Z. I'll move those boxes up a little bit and I'll repeat my process for the rest. There we go. So we got that kind of uh, sharp cut here. Now the next step is to select that edge uh, looper. I'm gonna be control V with a bubble. So there we go. I'm gonna convert them to face selection and then uh, right click and extrude face along normals. Give that a couple of uh, I mean, a little bit thickness here. And now I'll go ahead and stamp a couple of loops here inside that cut. Okay, make sure that you add a loop here exactly what I'm telling you because we're gonna apply subdivision a little bit so we need a sharper cut here in order to do that in order to get that sorry we need to apply a couple of loops here to hold that area there we go now what we have here as well we have that uh, smooth bevel as well or the hard surface here so what we're gonna do we're gonna make sure that we add a loop here at the bottom and press S Z zero to switch that loop G and Z on the axis. I'm gonna be adding a loop here as well. So let's do that. G and Z S Z zero. There we go. Now I'm gonna need to make sure that the distance here just uh, fits the object. And to do that, I'm gonna select that face selection. I'm gonna draw the selection on this here. I'm going to be extruding that area inside, so I'll press E from my keyboard. Now make sure that you have that thickness here. And well, it's something to mention here that we don't have to keep that area pretty sharp and bend it. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to scale that down on my axis a little bit. And that's it. Now I'll go and control R, stamp two loops here, one in the middle as well, and one here. Lift that up and one down here. Let's go to front view or right view, G and Z on the axis. I'm going to be adding a loop here as well, so control R, right click and bubble. And we need a couple of segments here, so I'll put eight in my sides. There we go. So now I've applied a subdivision here, so let's do that. There we go, we have our own area here, so make sure that you support the uh, top as well before adding in S, C, 0, G, and Z. And here as well. Control B to bubble, and uh, simply going to place that to 4. Amazing, so now it looks Quite the same here, but we need to work with the top as well. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna select the face mode, let's I do insert. And we're gonna be uh, sorting these here, so along normals. Let's go ahead and control R, add two loops here. And uh, I'm gonna be adding two loops here as well. So control Z, control R. There we go. So face mode again. I'll go ahead and select that face here at the bottom as well. I'm gonna be inserting that face here a couple of times. Now, right click and poke the face. I'm going to have everything here aligned perfect. So, what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna need to control our stamp below here on the side, here as well. And we need to add one here. There we go. And now we end up with quite similar shape here. Let's go ahead and apply subdivision. So, I'll grab the object and on my modifier section, I'll go ahead and sub. Subdivision surface. Now we need to wait a little bit here. So 
As you see, we have a smooth object, but we need to increase that up to 4. Let's tap to edit mode, select the face mode A. To select the whole object, right click and shader smooth. There we go. And now I end up with the same results almost. So that was everything for this simple expression for the uh, bubble uh, curve here. And um, yeah, take care.